Pipers, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. It's been a few weeks since I uh, have been able to get on. And uh, just wanted to come on here the day before uh, 4th of July and wish everybody a happy 4th of July. And uh, I know tomorrow people are going to be cooking out and being with friends and family and doing some celebrating, I'm sure, of some things. I've, celebrating our liberty of having freedom and independence and uh, thanking uh, people who have served in our military as well to help keep us free and keep that independence that we have. So uh, I just wanted to come on here. I wouldn't have a chance to come on tomorrow. So I just wanted to get on here and uh, wish everybody a happy 4th of July early. Okay, I'm going to be firing up here in just a minute after I finish this video. I have a Soren pipe, and that's handcrafted. Soren, everybody know he's a famous pipe maker. I don't know if he's doing much anymore. There's the plateau on that. And a uh, nice little orange stem. The grain, the grain's pretty good on it. Let me see if I can get that. To, whoop, almost dropped it. Get that around here. And you can see it. And in it, I'm going to be putting, and I usually smoke in it, Mayor, Mayor Pete. Mayor Pete from uh, Liberty Tobacco. I got across this tobacco through... Um, Johnny, 2 a.m. pipe on the patio, and um, lay my pipe down here, guys. Um, when he was out in California, he lived out there, of course, you know, for many, many, many years, and uh, evidently, this tobacco place he went to, Liberty Tobacco, you can order it online, or I think, or you, well, you, you got to call them, uh, because it's a special blend. They don't, or they didn't normally keep this in stock. They have to make it up. I think he said it has like a mixture of Lane 1Q and some other tobaccos. And it's really good. If you like an aromatic, uh, not a bad, not a bad tobacco at all. And so he kind of turned me on to that and I tried a, a batch of it. And, uh, so that's what I want to be having today in that and uh, but a good good tobacco. It's a mild tobacco, of course. It's not very very heavy. Um, so I uh, will be smoking that today um, in my pipe. So anyway, I uh, just want to get on here. Like I said, it's going to be a short video, and um, just want to wish everybody a happy Fourth of the J July. Oh. I got me something. Remember, I told you I was going to a rodeo and going to start working a few rodeos uh, with some friends of ours and uh, maybe kind of spotting out things this year to see what would sell in leather working. And uh, it, I didn't get something at the last rodeo with leather working, but the lady that I work with and uh, good friends of ours, she did hook me up with something and you can't go to a rodeo without one of these. Now, what do you think? Huh? I mean, you know, this is, this right here puts you in rodeo mode. All I need is some spurs and some jeans and I'll be, uh, and some boots and I'll be set, huh? But I got this at the, uh, she was gracious enough to gift this to me. And um, so I, uh, she said, wait, pick out anything you want on the racks. And uh, so for the summer, I needed a straw hat, and um, I was really getting that to cut grass in <laughs> and work outside. But then when I started looking at it, I go, man, this is too nice of a hat to go work outside with. But anyway, uh, I'm still flipping the coin on what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to wear it, or when I'm going to wear it. I just, It might just be a casual hat. I don't know. But... Um, and uh, so, by the way, I am growing my beard back. The beard is coming back. 
and uh, we're working on that. And I was going to wait till September, uh, till after the heat got over everything, and uh, summer we got through summer. But Mama Base Piper, she said, "I like it with your beard on. I like your beard." And so, if Mama wants a beard, I guess we'll grow a beard back. So anyway, you can't win for losing. Um, but uh, I thought I was going to be able to get through the heat. But uh, by the time it is grown in, um, this is my first week. So uh, I got about probably another uh, six weeks, seven weeks, eight, yeah, about seven weeks. Uh, so that'll take me to probably the end of August. Uh, so maybe most of the heat will be out of here by the time it's, it's done. But um, anyway, uh, we're working on that again. And uh, I'm a guy that likes a little change. You know, I can't grow anymore up here. So uh, I either go full beard or, as you know, Van Dyke, so to speak, or clean shaven. That's my three options. But, um, but we're going to work on bringing her back and uh, go with that and see if we can't hold on to it for a good while and uh, see how it all works out. But anyway, guys, I just want to get on here and just uh, take a few minutes. The, the leather working is doing pretty good and uh, doing some different things. I've made a made a wallet, my first wallet, and um, uh, so we've been tinkering with that. I've got a belt up here from one of my church members that uh, he wanted me to make another belt for him because the belt that I got up here on the table is, is just worn out where the billet holes are, where he's been cinching the belt and it's just kind of the leather is just broken i mean it's hanging on by a thread and uh he said preacher you think you can fix this i go ah well i don't think that was beyond repair but um we're going to look at getting some more belt blanks and stuff in and then hook him up with one and i need to make another one for, need to make one for my son i originally made one for my son but the measurements that he gave me were the wrong measurements. So, so it fit him, but he was like in the, the first hole, you know, of uh, uh, the very end. So uh, he didn't have much to cinch up. <clears throat> and so we have to, had to adjust that. So um, what size he gave me uh, was not the belt size. He gave me his pant size. And if you're doing belts, uh, the rule of thumb is whatever waist pants you wear, uh, the belt needs to be made two inches bigger. So if you wear a 34, I need to make a belt 36. Um, and which means after that buckle's put on, that little piece that flaps over that holds your buckle, from that end right there all the way to that center hole, needed to be needs to be 36 if you're a 34. Well, Brandon's a 32 and I should have made it a 34, but how he told me I end up making it a 32. So, what does that mean, base piper? That means do not sit there and tell a belt, belt maker uh, that your belt size is your pant size because it, it'll be wrong. If you wear a 32, you don't wear a 32 belt. Okay, if you wear a 46, you're not in a 46 belt. You're in about a 48 belt or a 48 and a half belt, depending on how thick the belt is that you want. So anyway, uh, we're going to work on a we're going to work on a couple of belts here in a few weeks. As soon as I can get some of my the suppliers that I get the blanks from, they're all out of the inch and a half uh, belts. Uh, they have the smaller belts. But I uh, usually go about midway, about an inch and a half. You can get an inch and three quarter. You can get two inch. But I like the inch and a half. It seems to be a, a good size for jeans. And so uh, we're working with that. I got some different templates uh, of some more wallets that um, I'm going to be making. And so uh, the wallet that I did make, I don't have it on me to show you. It's a little minimalist wallet. And it just holds some credit cards and a little flip side has a little slot for some cash. So it's just a basic minimum. And so um, anyway, that's where we're at. And so, um, hey, I do have a prayer um, item for you guys and gals who are the praying kind. And I want you to keep us in, in prayer. 
Um, my wife, Miss Bass Piper, um, has finally gone over the edge with it looks like being diagnosed with diabetes. And um, she got her blood results just a week ago and uh, she's up there in the diabetic range. So now they're wanting to look at putting her on meds. And uh, I go and get my blood work at the end of August and I hadn't seen my doctor in a couple of years. And so I'm sweating out to see if that's, if, if I'm gonna be a diabetic. Um, both of us were pre-diabetic about a year or so ago, but um, but like I said, you know, like anything else, you know, you, you roll on with life and you eat junk you shouldn't be eating. And uh, Bass Piper has picked up a few pounds over the last couple of years. I've been trying to get the stuff off. Um, the stressors of life hasn't helped. I'll just be brutally honest. I'm losing my mother, uh, before that, taking care of my mom and dad and all, you know, I don't think it doesn't seem like I have increased my eating to gain weight. I've always been kind of a big eater or, you know, that type of thing. But in the last couple of years, packing on about another 25 pounds or more, um, it's like, man, where is it coming from? You know, and of course, I've heard people say, well, Wade, you are getting older and you're not as, you know, agile as you used to be and your work situation has changed. So you're not exercising as much. And so metabolism and all that slows down. So, yeah, you wake up one morning and you go, wow, I got two bellies. I got an upper belly and I got a what's this muffin top stuff going on here? You know, as the, as the ladies call it. And uh, I'm like, what in the world is happening? And so uh, gravity is starting to uh, go down to my knees here. Um, <laughs> uh, they say it's fun getting older. I, I'm starting to see what they're talking about. And uh, but anyway, me and Miss Bass Piper are uh, hitting the gym. We're hitting the gym uh, pretty hard, and we started going about. About, about three weeks ago, almost a month ago, I guess. And uh, as y'all know, I was a member of the Y for about a month and a half or so. And uh, and then I switched over to this gym because it was a lot cheaper. Both of us can go for the same price of one membership at the Y. But um, be in prayer that we can get some stuff turned around and uh, get the weight off, start watching the foods we eat. You know, you got to come off all the good stuff. You know, you got to come off the sodas, you got to come off the candy, you got to come off all the junk, all the breads, all the potatoes, you know. And it's it, what we're seeing for the foods that you can eat, it's not bad. It's just, it's almost like a paleo or a keto type of eating style. But, uh, you know, over the years, you know, living the good stuff has caught up with her and it might have caught up with me and so um but of course you know we all know that um this stuff can be turned around you know there's no really cure for diabetes i mean it's a global epidemic almost but uh it can go into remission so to speak as they say so you can control it but we're trying to do it without meds and so um we'll see um you know, the first thing they want to put you on is this metformin. And metformin now is starting to have a list of not good things about it. I know there's some other options you can do, other meds. But we're trying to get the weight off and get everything, you know. So I'm hoping in a few months you'll see a drastic change in this look. And some of y'all might say, uh, you know, man, what's happened to Bass Piper? Is he sick? No, I'm just trying to get the weight off. And when you're used to looking at a guy at 286, and then he goes down to 206, you know, it might... <laughs> I won't have all this fat. And then putting the beard on is going to make it even fatter. Look like a fat face. And then I go and shrink down. Uh, everybody thinks, you know, you're dying the next day. And so um, 
anyway, we didn't, we didn't pack on a few pounds more than I've ever had in my life. So, uh, I'm sweating it out. And, uh, but, uh, I told my wife, I said, hon, I said, the, I guess the good thing in all of this is we got it as we got older. We could have had it in our twenties and thirties. So, uh, my mom had diabetes, uh, but she didn't get diagnosed till she was probably in her late sixties, early seventies. And I'm in my early sixties going into the mid sixties. So, uh, my dad don't have it. And, uh, mama, she just had, cause she likes sweets. And even when she had diabetes, like most people, they still stuff the sweets, you know, I'm taking a pill. So that just kind of zeroes out everything. I can eat all the peanut brittle. I can eat all the brownies. I can I eat all the ice cream, just pop another metformin in there, you know? So, um, but, um, we really want to hit it hard. Uh, we're trying to get our mess together before it really gets so out of whack. And with our age, um, moms, when mom got it, you know, it was more looked at as age, age related diabetes, you know, parts start not working like they should. And, you know, a lot of this comes from your pancreas and liver combination type thing, you know, with the making the insulin and all that kind of thing. And so sometimes some of this stuff is brought on by, by age, you know, how much you can do with that, you know, it, it's going to happen. Uh, our parts are wearing out and so, um, slowly, but, um, anyway, just be putting us on the prayer list. Uh, if you think about it, I pray for, uh, base Piper and Mrs. Base Piper that we'll be able to get some weight off. We'll be able to, she will be able to, as far as we know right now, be able to reverse some stuff with her diabetes. She's kind of concerned about it. Of course I am too. It's kind of, you know, it, it's, when you hear diabetes, you know, it's almost like hearing cancer, you know, um, even though cancer I'm sure is a lot worse, but diabetes can be if it's not, you know, uh, kept under control, but it's a, it is a big slap in your face. It's a wake up call. I mean, like a truck just hits you and, um, but you know, like so many, when you hear pre diabetes, uh, take it seriously. Uh, if you're in a pre-diabetic mode, uh, now's the time to, to, to get it off and, and bust it out, you know, and get the weight off, get everything you can before you go over the, go over the top. Um, I'm hoping that because we've just, you know, she's just now gone over the top, uh, that it'll be a whole lot easier to maybe turn it back around. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, be in prayer for that, guys. I didn't mean to spend so much time on that. But uh, that's a prayer request. Uh, if you guys uh, that pray don't mind thinking about us in prayer, that we'll get this weight off, get the diabetes under control, uh, get it turned around, and uh, maybe we can see some more positive results in that. If anything, it has scared us to the fact of just getting the weight off. So I am watching what we eat. So hopefully all of that will domino effect to better, better lifestyle and better sugar levels. All right. I'm going to get on off of here, guys. I'm going to have a pipe and um, kick back for a minute. We got church tonight, uh, Wednesday night service. In fact, it's our prayer meeting service. And uh, I usually have prayer meeting. We sing some songs, have prayer, uh, and go over our prayer list, add people to the prayer list that need to go on it or take people off and then have a uh, teaching session. Uh, so anyway, I got to get ready for that and uh, kind of clean up everything and, and uh, make my final thoughts and notes on my lesson tonight. And so we're going to get on off of here. It's been about 18 minutes. So listen, you guys have a, have a happy 4th of July. Subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to the Bass Piper channel and uh, still trying to decide what I'm going to do with the next series and whether I'm going to go with you know, showcasing some pipe tobacco uh, and or maybe some cigars. And um, I don't know just yet what I'm going to do. Uh, I might end up doing something totally different. Uh, but anyway, um, you guys have a great 4th of July weekend. Some of y'all will be off, taking some days off for the holidays. And we'll see you next time. You guys take care. Listen, don't remember, I almost forgot. You know, relax, have a pipe or a cigar. 
Don't forget the many blessings God gives us each and every day. You guys take care. Bye-bye.